the southern border, where a new influx of migrants is straining resources, officials temporarily suspending operations at one remote crossing. ABC's Zareen Shah joins us now from Los Angeles with the latest. Good morning, Zareen. Errol, migrants have been showing up in a remote part of the Arizona border, and Custom and Border Protection officials say this region is the busiest along the southern border right now. And across the country, cities are grappling with an influx of asylum seekers. This morning, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officials suspending operations at a border crossing in Lukeville, Arizona on Monday to free agents to deal with increased levels of migrant encounters. Over 17,000 migrants apprehended in the Tucson region over one week, compared to just over 23,000 encounters in the entire month of November last year. CVP transporting some of those migrants to other parts of the border for expedited removal. This coming after Texas officials temporarily suspended vehicle operations at one crossing in Eagle Pass last week. Volunteers across the country opening doors despite the increased numbers as winter approaches. We want to walk alongside them, work with them. The top CVP official telling ABC last week that decreasing or suspending processing at ports of entry is one way they can redirect resources to deal with apprehensions. This is uh, you know, how we manage our operations. We, uh, we search to those locations we have to um, for the safety and security of our officers, our agents, the, mig the migrants we encounter. And, and frankly, to maximize the enforcement efforts uh, that we have underway. And Texas must now remove a thousand foot long barrier installed in the Rio Grande in July. This decision on Friday coming after a federal appeals court ruling the state must remove the buoys. So Governor Abbott quickly fought back. He said the state would immediately look for a rehearing from the court. He even said he would go to the Supreme Court to reverse the decision, which he says is clearly wrong. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.